Okay, guys, so you're going to start with your text. Uh, get the, uh, the font that you want. You can space it out. Here I chose to space it out a bit um, when it's too, it was too close together for my liking there, so I just added a little bit of space here. I went up to 60, and that, um, that seemed to be the distance that I liked it. Make sure that your font is white and then go to this area. Now, I've also selected the bold here. Go up to this panel and make sure you select multiply. And then your text is going to disappear. Well, because we're going to add effects to it. So I've already added the effects. Let me walk you through each of them. If you don't know how to add effects, it's down here. And you can start adding effects, OK? So let's go and take a look. Now, when I apply the effects, it gives you that beautiful look. So let's see how I, how I got that. OK, first, we're going to start with bevel and emboss. And I'll just stay here. If you want to pause the screen and look at these values, more than anything, you guys, you want to start playing with these yourself uh, to learn what they do. But copy is fine for now. So right, you copy before you create is fine. Um, go ahead and enter in these values. I have an outer bevel selected. I, I chose chisel hard. You can see what the difference between chisel soft is. Chisel soft actually looks pretty, pretty rad as well. So I'll, I'll keep it chisel soft. Um, went to 126% depth, 10 on the size, 10 pixels, and of course my uh, canvas size is 1920 by 1080 to give, to give you perspective. I didn't soften it at all. If I did soften it, it would start to look a little different. In fact, I don't even see, barely visually see it. You can see it barely visually, but I'm going to keep it without any soften. Um, I, I did not use global lighting. And I chose negative 60 as my angle and 32 as my altitude. Um, I chose my highlight mode to be overlay at 100%. And you can see what that does. Now I brought it all the way up to 100% to really give my uh, that highlight, that, that ridge, um, some highlight. Then I chose my shadow mode to be multiply. And again, if I bring that all the way down, uh, you'll see that it, it looks like that but I think it looks better with it cranked all the way up to 100%. OK, so that's Bevel and Emboss. Uh, get used to this panel. You're going to use it a lot. Play with all the different things here. There's just so much there. So let's move on to Inner Shadow. So first of all, if I, if I deselect Inner Shadow, that's what we look like. In fact, if I deselect all of these things, that will be what my Bevel and Emboss looks like. So if you're there, after, after Bevel and Emboss, you should be somewhere um, like that. Now let's go to Inner Shadow. Um, inner shadow I have selected to multiply, got my color black, and I got the opacity uh, jacked up to 86%. You can lower this a bit if you want. Um, I thought 86% or right around 80%, that looks, that looks fine. Then I used global lighting and I kept it basically where it started. Um, I might have moved it a little bit. I'm at 124%, distance 15 pixels, choke 17%, size 21 pixels again. You don't have to be perfect on these things. You can see if you make the size too big, it just ruins it. You want to come down to where it looks good. We can always come back and change these later as, as well. OK, uh, that's Inner Shadow. So if you want to pause there, check that out. Now I added a color overlay. The color overlay, I just kept it on blend mode overlay, uh, made it black and the opacity 20. Now if you want to keep going up, of course, you're going to fill the whole thing almost. So you want to make it, you can make it dark if you want, um, but I just wanted to add a little bit of darkness, so I went to about 20%, 19% is fine. Then I went to my gradient overlay. Now gradient overlay, you want to make it multiply. Um, you want to make sure your gradient is selected like this. I mean, you can bring this up, um, and you'll see what that does. But um, I like to bring this right around 50%, maybe maybe even a little more. And OK. And then I like to make it linear. I've reversed it to where the white's on the bottom and the black's on the top. I have my opacity at 28%, uh, my scale at 59%, and my angle at 90. Now, if you were to change this angle, it would do some weird stuff to it. So you want, you want to make, make sure that that angle's at 90. And that is it. Uh, from there, I added. You can do this with all different kinds of textures. So with wood, of course, that looks really good. With uh, uh, darker wood, it looks, I would even say, the darker the wood, the better. Um, this one looks really good. 
you can do it with like this kind of stone. You can do it with even even something like fabric, which this is sort of strange because you have the buttons, so it's sort of not um, uh, it's sort of not realistic to some degree, but it still looks kind of cool. Um, I've chosen this one as my final, um, and I added a color balance. So without that color balance, you just have the regular stone. You don't have to add the color balance, of course, um, but I just want to show you that it's possible. If, if you wanted a color stone, let's say you were looking for purple stone, you don't need to go and find a purple stone um, on Google. Just find a stone pattern that you like and then add a color balance to it. And when you add the color balance, you can play with the levels. So if I wanted to go for a purple stone, I would come over like this and I'd find that purple that I liked maybe right there, and there you go, you have your purple stone. If I wanted a yellow stone, again, I'd find that color that I like. Maybe I want that highlighter yellow, boom. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to show you what, what you can do in terms of your textures. You don't have to, I'm gonna leave it at green, but you don't have to have the texture exactly, uh, you don't have to find the texture off, off Google that you want. You can kind of work with something that you found and create what you want. So I hope this uh, blessed you guys. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be releasing more videos. So make sure to uh, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Blessings.